All right, week two is in the books, and we are going to be taking on Indy for this week three matchup. But look at the team here through through two games. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Quarterback has been not, honestly not great, but really what it is is the rushing. It's kind of been a bit of a god godsend for us, and we've only got two attempts. We only have 11 attempts, sorry, for our running back through two games. But he's got a lot of catches through the backfield, and he's fumbled the ball twice, which sets him up for a pace of 17 fumbles in this season. And I'd hate for that to be the case, because that would be annoying, and that would really piss me off, honestly. Uh, gonna keep the training regimen high, gotta get these guys as much XP as possible, but we will use our first CC spend on upgrading the rehab which I think stops me from fumbling the ball so much. I hope it does. And I hope we notice that in, uh, in week three. So we're going to hop in. Got a kicker here. Jameson Daniels. Jack Daniels and Jameson combined together to make the whitest, most hillbilly kicker of all time. And I'm going to reject because he's toxic. Similar to alcohol. Don't. Don't consume alcohol. It will kill you and rot your brain. In Houston for the kickoff. And we are underway. Indy driving down and going to kick a field goal. And we're going to get the ball here on the 27. Alave going to drop back. Going to give it to the running back. Going to dive for the first down. Can't fumble the ball if you dive. Unless you make a football move, Dez. I like this route. Going to go deep here to EJ Diamond. 20-yard gain. Already moving it past midfield. We are going fast, quick, and in a hurry. Run the ball up the gut. And a fucking another fumble that we recover somehow. I don't know how. But yeah, I guess uh, th some things stay the same as some things change as we fumble the ball again in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Looking at Hurd on this post, can we can we stretch it long? Hurt we do. News. That's the longest pass of our career so far. That's a beautiful, beautiful little dot. I drop it right in the bread basket. Right over the old shoulder there. As we are on the four-yard line. And, oh, Diamond sneaks in, says, fuck you, I'm not letting you get that. Get that touchdown, John Smith. I don't really know. I don't really care who catches it, honestly. I just want to score a touchdown. And we're going to kick the extra point. And we got it. Okay. Our defense has honestly been crazy good. Uh, still on extreme. That's never going to change. What the fuck just happened? I don't I don't know what happened. Um, I don't really care. But still playing on uh, the hardest difficulty there is. And we're, we're making plays, making moves. As we're going to get the ball deep to Diamond, who's going to get a hurdle. Try to swipe, try to swipe over and get the run going, but uh, 20 yards will do as we run past the defender. We run past a lot of defenders, get a hurdle as well, and we take it past midfield for an 11-yard rush. I like this press coverage. I don't really like what's happening, though, as we are going to go deep again. And Hurd with My a news. great catch in that deep post is going to take us to the 20, uh, no, the 31, 31. So we're going to run the ball again, try to get the outside, can't get it. Don't like what I'm seeing. Alave on third down. Gonna go. I don't know what the route was. He came back. I think I gotta take the points here. I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to make this kick. Okay. I, hey, you know, whatever. At least they didn't score off of it. We're gonna get the ball back at halftime. Gonna go to John Smith here. Beautiful catch, John. Go, go, go. That's very encouraging. That's probably the most encouraging thing I've ever done. It's like a make-a-wish kind of thing. I think we burnt him, and we missed the throw. I think anyone else catches that ball. I think he just, he kind of alligator-armed it. As he's going to make a huge play. What is that? He's going to juke across the field, too. I can't believe this. As I'm just alligator arm, I'm just making fun of him. Just being an absolute tool. Uh, he actually shows out. He's like, why don't you mind your own business? I'm looking deep. Is that safety coming over? He is. Can I get this over the top to the running back? The rookie, Quincy Mullins. Gonna get out of bounds, hopefully, so he doesn't fumble the ball. But he fumbles the ball anyway. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I don't know why I harmonized. I'm really annoyed. Uh, and we're gonna let up a touchdown. Defense plays strong all game, and then basically Quincy Mullins just gives the ball up. I feel like Quincy Mullins has some money on these games because the defense is just like this fucking guy again. Can he stop giving the ball away? Like, we're actually making stops. And then Mullins is like, I, I got the over-under here. Like, I, I can't let us score anymore. You know, I don't get it. I don't get it one bit. As it basically feels like I'm fighting against the team. Mullins plays well when he gets the ball and he holds on to it. You know, he's averaging a lot of yards per carry. 
but at the same time, he fumbles the ball constantly. I don't think I've ever seen this many fumbles. I'll throw it over the middle, and he'll alligator armor. See, I don't regret saying that. Now, I'm looking at the scoreboard. I am losing. I realized that. I wasn't sure, but now I realize I'm down. I am not Indianapolis, as I'm going to scramble. Real big decision coming up. I want to take up as much time as I possibly can without fumbling the ball. Because I'm okay with overtime. Our defense has played well. I'm okay with anything but giving the ball away. I'm trying to figure out how to play the clock here. I don't want to give him too much time. If I drop back, I, uh, I know that's open, but I... Okay, I definitely shouldn't have rolled out. I should have went up the gut. I wanted to throw the ball, but I'm afraid that our defense is not going to hold up. But at this point, I'll take any sort of score. As I miss it. Third goal from the 12. Dropping back. I can't stretch that ball. Someone going to catch it. Thank you. Quincy held on to it. God forbid he holds on to a run, but you know, when he when he doesn't have the ball initially, he can catch it. That's fine. They're gonna need a touchdown. They're gonna need a touchdown because I put that right through the middle, baby. Alright, here's the kickoff. I've seen this before. Indy at their own half. Airs it out. Oh my fucking god, thank you. It panned way too far to the end zone. I was worried. We're gonna walk out of Houston with another dub. It was a close game, it really was. And what am I pleased with? The coaching, that's all me. Uh, the team. The team played well and a beautiful morale to boot. As Olave is going to get his first upgrade of this franchise. And I think we're going to have to go with go with the arm strength so we can kind of extend the ball a little bit. And I think no better pairing than to upgrade EJ Diamond Speed. And oh my god, we got another one. Um, let's say uh, let's say the DB gets better at tackling. I, I picture more, uh, you know, if we look at his stats, a picture... Weston Goldman, more of like a free safety, you know, box type, like a Derwin James. He can come into the box, lay the boom, decent strength, but he can wrap up. And he's got uh, unlimited speed. So, Alave is looking nice. And we are 2-1. and one. Gonna be fighting Jacksonville back and forth for the division. We got an early buy at week 7. And, uh, yeah, Indy's gonna fall to 0-3. Oh we'll look around the league here. The Chargers are undefeated. Denver is defeated. And Arizona, Tampa, and Washington all undefeated. And Minnesota and Green Bay are fighting it out. So that is going to be week three in the books. And I guess I'll see you next time when we play the Washington Commanders in week four at FedEx Field. I'll see you then.